Raiden Hayden. Um, what's your name and background? And can you give me any of your academic background and title? My name is Demario Reed, and I'm currently a history teacher uh, for the Griffin County School System in North Carolina, where I'm employed at Hopkins Central High School. I also serve as an administrative intern uh, within the district as well. My academic um, credentials are I'm a graduate of North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, where I received my bachelor's degree in communication studies. From there, I was able to um, solidify history certification, um, and I also received my master's in education from Liberty University. Um, I recently completed my master's in um, school administration as well um, at University of North Carolina in Greensboro. So what are your future goals? My future endeavors professionally are to become an educational leader within a local middle school or high school. Um, I strive to make a difference in the next generation. I strive to be able to make an impact within our young people. And I do that daily by trying to provide a means for them inspiring them, motivating them, or empowering them a generation of one person at a time. Mm -hmm. On um, May 16th, they had a um, teachers event. Um, what was the result for it? And what was, did you attend and what was your outcome? The Red for Ed was a rally of all state educators within the state of North Carolina, um, where we rallied in our state's capital of Raleigh, North Carolina. And that particular day was a very powerful day. Um, I myself, along with some other colleagues of mine, we were participants in that rally on that day. Um, and you're talking about well over 10,000 educators from all across the state of North Carolina. And it was, it was, it was enlightening, it was uh, powerful, it was just, it was something that I will never forget. Um, just to be able to see again that many educators come together, really not for the sake of the money, but really for the sake of us making a difference in the lives of our students. So that's being said, what, why did you, what did you decide, why did you decide to go? Um, I felt that it was my professional duty. I felt obligated to be there. Um, again, not for the sake of a salary increase or anything of that particular nature, because if you ask any great educator, they're gonna tell you that they're not in the business for the money, they're in the business for the sake of um, teaching young people and making a difference in the lives of young people. And I know that as far as myself and some of my other colleagues that were there, those were the reasons that we were there on that day to be able to make a difference and to say that we were a part of history and to say that we did our part to make history while we were in Raleigh on that day. Okay. So while you were there, did they get the chance, to, the opportunity to meet with the We did have the opportunity while we were there, those people who were designated um, to be the spokespersons there. Um, it was, the, the Ray for Ed was a rally within itself that was uh, culminated by the North Carolina um, Assembly, or the North Carolina uh, Assembly of Educators, NCAE is what the acronym is for that. And so it, it culminated with basically. All right, um, from your experience, uh, what could have been a difference? Um, based off of what was taking place that day, um, I would definitely say the weather could have been better uh, on that day. Uh, it did rain a little bit while we were down there, but in all honesty, that did not stop any of us from doing what we needed to do um, as far as the actual walk and actually rallying there at the General Assembly. And so, um, really, it was a good day. It was, it was honestly a good day. Um, we were able to break for lunch and you were able to In the planning stages of the rally, um, it was a uh, scheduled day for school. Um, would you been able to take off um, for that, and would it have been an issue with your school? For me personally, um, no. Um, I'm a veteran teacher within our school district, so I had ample time um, to be able to sort of buy a substitute or a coverage um, had we had to have school that day for our students. So I made a um, co-worker attendant. 
Um, I would say that those approximately about probably one third of the staff in high school um, that were in attendance on that day. We uh, we we served. We're going to do a documentary on on the um, teachers' red or ed um, protest. Um, give me the name, the, the academic background, and um, work background. Um, so my name is Deontay Wade. Um, I got a mathematics degree from Wisconsin State University. Um, I just finished my second year teaching at Lexington Senior High. I teach Math 1 and 2, which is ninth and 10th grade math, and I coach basketball as well. Um, what in the future of the career, though? So um, I want to go back to school. I want to get my master's at least, but I want to teach at a university. So, typically to be a university professor, you got to get your PhD, so that will probably be in the cards. Okay. Stop, so, Ray. Um, what was the red for the end? Um, it was um, all the teachers in North Carolina was organizing to protest to, um, for higher wages, um, for higher salaries um, for teachers. Why did you decide to go? Um, because I understand the the hardships that come with with teaching and the things that our teachers are asked to do, and we all feel that we are underpaid for everything that we we do in the classroom and outside the classroom. Okay. Um, so, what did you get out of it? Um, I really enjoyed the fact that. We all could come together. I didn't think there were that many people was going to show up, and you know, they would be flooded the streets. And so I, that really made me feel good that I could come together and, and be part of the cause. Okay. So what could have been um, different from your experience? Um, I think what it could have been different is if. Teachers just took the day without schools um, giving teachers the day off. I think that would have made a bigger statement rather than um, using one of our personal days or sick days to um, go to rally and protest. I, I feel like if we would have organized and just took a day and left the schools out to dry, I think that would be had a bigger impact. Not to say we didn't have a big impact, but a bigger impact. Okay. So you're saying that you um, that didn't get paid for that day? Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah, so I think the, the school systems giving teachers the day off was kind of damage control. So they didn't have to worry about subs or what they're going to do with the students because they gave them the day off. Okay, so during the um, planning stages, um, the school, um, the schedule for the school was still um, in play. Did you all, would you have um, had any issues if you would have took that day off to school? Um, for my school, no, because I already had um, booked us up, and so I, I had that day planned out already. Um, so if I, my school system gave us the day, that day off, like, I think we got the email that Monday. So we wasn't really sure if we was going to get the day or not, but um, I took the day off regardless. So um, I think my principal understood um, what the cause was, and so she didn't mind as much. Okay, so did, did any other states um, have a rally like this for protests too? Um, my friend, um, one of my close friends said that in Arizona, um, the same organization, Red for Ed, um, had a rally, um, in Phoenix, um, his, his mother's a teacher, and so she went out there, and so, um, that kind of opened my eyes a little bit that it, it wasn't just North Carolina, so it was kind of nationwide. Okay, cool. Uh, last question, um, do you think that, um, in, in this event had a big impact on any changes? I think this is 
the first step in the right direction. Um, I would say it had an impact because now people kind of see that teachers are serious about it. And uh, I think it's a right step. I don't I don't know if it will typically make the changes we're expecting right away, but I think um, eventually it will. Okay, it just reminded me of a um, protest that we uh, uh, attended October 25th, 1995, the Million Man March. Mm -hmm. And just you, hearing you all speak on this and how it made a big impact. It was a big impact on that day. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, 20 some odd years later, there's still no change. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you for your um, participation, and and you all are duly um, deserve a good raise and get paid. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me, and I definitely appreciate it.